The Project 2025 plan is not a game. Look it up! Actress Taraji P. Henson kicking up a conversation with her comments at the BET Awards this past Sunday. Project 2025 is their plan. It is serious. It's in writing. It's public. Maybe you've heard about it. It's called Project 2025. Do you know what Project 2025 is? You know, it's the plan that Republicans have in place that they're going to execute in the first 180 days if Trump is elected. But what is it? And what does it mean for voters? Project 2025 is something that's going to transcend the next four years, the next 10 years. Project 2025 is a more than 900 page document from the Conservative Heritage Foundation and calls for changes to the United States government if a Republican wins the 2024 presidential election. The Heritage Foundation was founded in 1973 and became influential during President Reagan's time in office with its mandate for leadership, which was a blueprint on detailed policy prescriptions on everything from taxes, regulation, trade, and national defense. The organization claims Reagan's administration adopted or attempted nearly two-thirds of the blueprint's policies. Project 2025 is now being compared to the mandate for leadership of the 1980s. The website states, if we are going to rescue the country from the grip of the radical left, we need both a governing agenda and the right people in place ready to carry this agenda out on day one of the next conservative administration. Project 2025 looks to dismantle federal agencies such as the U.S. Department of Education, fire tens of thousands of unelected federal workers, deport thousands of undocumented immigrants, impose tariffs on imported goods, and privatize Social Security and Medicare, among other priorities. The Heritage Foundation's president, Kevin Roberts, appeared on MSNBC to talk about Project 2025. We want to look at it from the standpoint of the everyday American and say it's time that they are put in the driver's seat rather than unelected bureaucrats. Democrats and left-wing activists say Project 2025 is extremist and dangerous. They say the plan's language is misleading and warn that a Republican president with a Republican majority in Congress would lead to an overhaul and concentration of executive powers. Critics also say there's a prominent Christian nationalist agenda within the pages of the Project 2025 plan, tackling topics like pornography, marriage, and abortion. Democrats have created the Stop Project 2025 task force to, quote, protect democracy as we know it. A group of Democratic Congress members say the task force aims to bring awareness to Project 2025's extreme ideologies, calling it a radical extreme pro-authoritarianism plan pushed by conservatives who were desperate to take our country backwards under a Trump presidency. Former President Trump has neither endorsed Project 2025 nor called for its implementation. For Straight Arrow News, I'm Lauren Taylor. If you want more unbiased straight facts, download the Straight Arrow News app. Thank <music> you.